Hi everyone, I really hope you all are doing really good. As you have been probably seeing for last few months that the AI coding space is going literally huge. It's just blowing up every day. There are new tools, new updates, new new LLM that is coming out. And really, it's just getting really better and better. Um, so as part of today's video, I am actually going to demonstrate you an open source fork that I have just found out yesterday. And this is called Autodev. Generally, this is actually fork of Bold.new. I don't know if you have heard of Bold.new. Again, Bold.new is another coding framework that was launched some few months before. And this is really targeting the developers or the users who don't have a lot of front end and back end experience. So, Bold.new is really helping uh, codes with just a few prompts. Uh, I, I have seen a few videos before. I could not cover those in this channel, but I think after seeing Autodev, I really found a reason to cover this tool. Like, sure, it's going to give people who don't have uh, engineering knowledge really get push to create their own software. And I really believe in probably a few years of time, everyone will have their own custom software building using tools as like this bold.new or Autodev. Or now, before I proceed into the main tutorial, uh, I just want to mention that Autodev is actually a fork made Cole Madden. So if you don't know him, so this is his YouTube channel. I really give a, give a shout out to him. Uh, this is really a great work that he has done because Bold.new, when it was launched, it was only launched for Cloud models, Cloud 3.5 Sonic model, and they have a package here and everything. Uh, what he has done, he has forked the repository and with help of other bunch of developers, he have actually created an open source version of it where you can actually use the open source model, even your local Olama large language, in order to create code, uh, both front end and back end. And that is really awesome. I personally haven't tried the Autodev before, so I think in this video, I'm also going to try it with you. So you will probably see the first experience that could eventually ho hopefully help you, um, you know, use this to be going forward. And yeah, I move forward again, please go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I have done that. I should actually just put the bell icon as well because I really want to hear more about how this tool is getting updated. So please make sure to do that. Again, shout out and thanks to Colmating for making a, a, an open source project. Now, there are a lot of features that, as you can see, they are going to, going to implement. And these are the features that they have already done it. And I can see that they have done DeepSeek API integration after that they have added the Ulama models as well. So in this video, what we are going to do is just we are going to quickly use one of the Ulama model and integrate with this tool and see how it performs, how it can actually generate code. Okay, if you're ready, let's go ahead and go to our VS Code Terminal. Yeah, so I am now inside the repository. Uh, uh, the way you can run, I think there are a few documentation here. So you can run as an NPM project. You can run as a Docker build directly. So that will that needs Docker installed in your local environment. Uh, you can also use pnpm install to install that as well. Now I'm going to use Docker. I think first I have to actually clone the repository. So let's do that first. We're we'll just going to open the terminal and just run it. Hopefully that will work. So it's just saying nothing is set as variable. So I think we can do that later on. Let me first run it first time and see how the interface looks like. Because again, as I said, this is my first time I'll be running this. I think all we had to do is actually copy env example, just like any other project, right? There you go, rename it to .env. And then all we need to do is set the Olama API base URL. Again, that's going to be this one because I am running Olama in my local Windows system if you can see it from here so that's it I just don't need anything else now one more thing because we are going to test with local model there is an instructions there so that we can use so all we have to do is just create a model file first so i'm just going to quickly create a model file and i'm going to use coin 2.5 coder model uh, if you don't know about coin model, it seems like this model is really good in terms of coding capabilities. And what this is actually doing is just by default, all uh, Olama models comes with 2000 token limitation like context. And with this model file, what we are basically doing is just increasing to 32,768. Uh, because it seems like with this token size, uh, usually coding model would perform better because 2000 is too low for coding models to work, right? So what we can do is we can open a command. So we go to this path and then we can actually use create 
say now it's trying to pull the model and now I can see that the model is loaded which is good so again we will come back here and you can see this the docker image has started I'm just going to stop it and rerun it now because now we have up created the .env file with the uh, base olama path so that should work now we'll go to localhost 5173 and there you go the window have turned up for bold.new and here you can select different models we will select the provider as olama that is already set and here you can see that the new model that we have loaded with 32000 token window is loaded up so that's good now we can just give uh, a command and that should usually start creating the app so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to create the same app that we have tried to create for last two videos and see how that works with our local model okay i'll just say build one feature at a time test in person let's build let's first build the landing page dashboard login feature and port features such as subscription tracking and managing budget and let's see how that works again this is all running in local and absolutely for free let's see if point to dot five coder can actually make any code or not yeah it started building it it is creating the step by stage and now it has started creating the artifact now as you can see on the right side it has now created a vs code style uh, coding window where it will actually give the code and you can also right away do the preview of the code so that is the best feature that is available to you with uh, bold.new actually so this is going to do all the installation and everything for you so hopefully you'll be able to see the next day's app in the preview model there is some error with installing some of the component that's fine i just wanted to see whether it's it's able to actually build the code or not so as i can see what is happening is uh, with the point uh, 5 coder model it is uh, working as a chat rather than it's updating the code directly yeah i think with the local model i don't see this is actually doing stuff automatically so this is probably something for for the ola people to feel but let's for this purpose of the demo you some other model like we can do is we can go to open router and i'll just do a quick login and let's use a cheap model that it's suppose deep sea coder will do 236 billion so let's use that it's not a problem uh, again we are to copy so let's use the open router model and i will use the deep sea coder v2 and give the same thing uh, again this time i'm not going to mention this and let it decide by itself and let's shoot it i have like five dollar cents left let's see what happens at the end of creating this app i can see it has started creating on the jsx file in the html file and json files which is really nice and i'm not doing anything i'm just setting idle and hoping that it will complete the code creation okay so first draft of the application is ready let's do some test uh, i think login functionality is not added that's fine we will just try to add a subscription it is setting automatically like to let's set a budget it's okay it's working but it doesn't have anything fascinating so i'm just going to probably change this that's why i have again went back to the deep sea coder and giving up the instruction and let's see how that works nice i can see a lot of code is added now okay so it has added the dark mode and this is asking for a mail address and password as we have asked i'm just giving a random user id password well now it is giving me like this breakdown so let me set it to like 500 and let's give it like netflix cost 200 let's say i will do like this add subscription and as you can see the category subscription breakdown category is coming as chart which is nice the budget left is also showing like lifting like this amount is in yellow this is also nice i will just say this looks the looks okay can you please make it a production says like project so i have now given some more instruction let's see if it can update that and this will probably be the last thing that i will try again i'm not trying to build production like app i'm just trying to build a functional app at the moment because i just wanted to test the tool and so far really i was amazed because i didn't have to touch any code base and it was able to actually create 
some functional code. I will try later on with some entropic and other models and see if it can actually produce, you know, output like a production application output of that. Okay, so final version is out. I'm not going to work anymore on that. I think DeepSeek Coder is not really good for different uh, development, but I can see it has now created a really cool some animations. And if I refresh the page, you will see that this is coming as a bit nice, but although alignment are not really good, but that's fine. We just click try now and I'm just going to log in with some documents and my password. And as you can see now, again, uh, this portion has uh, been upgraded really good. It has created different navigation panel on the left. We can add like the cost and everything here. We can select different category of the expenses and we can add the date as well and add the subscriptions, Let's set a budget. And I can also see the chart. But yeah, the chart which seems to be growing bigger and bigger. Again, as I said, I think the deep seek model is not good for different. Uh, so uh, and I can see that see XAI Grok Beta is also available. So I'll probably create another video with Grok Beta and test this um world up new fork. The only one significant improvement suggestion from me would be if we can add some kind of you know something to the app here in the chat window. That would have been really awesome. I don't find any way to add a screenshot there let it actually you know, go out of the front end referencing the screenshot if, if you would see this video that's that would be my suggestion if you can add that feature that would be really really and it would be really good for any person who is really deep to the front end and back end of that so that's it for this video i am going to end this video right now uh, please subscribe to the channel because i'm going to bring a lot more such tutorials in in the near future and stay tuned take care and i'll see you on to the next one bye